What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. And you can go to my blog over there, which has a newsletter, and that link is in the description below, and grab a free graphic novel for signing up for my newsletter. So if you like comics, go get it. It's awesome. And you get weekly updates with all the videos I post, so you never miss reviews of awesome comics and the comic news I talk about also. It's all good stuff. This is Archie Comics, the Deluxe Edition, book four. I've, re I've reviewed the first three already on this channel as I've gone through these larger graphic novels. Now, most of the graphic, uh, the Archie Collected Editions are in these like tiny little digests. And so I made sure to pick up all the hardcovers, uh, even though these are just like best of random compilations almost, which I don't like. I, li I like collections that really go in order. And I know there's a Dark Horse uh, series that went in order and collects most of the 40s stuff, toying around with picking that up. I might do that soon. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of books and, um, and my budget's dying a little bit here. But um, this is the latest volume of these deluxe editions, which came out in 2019. You don't have to read book one or book two or book three in order to get this. These are very much all standalone stories, as most Archie's are. And most of the stories in here are about like six to 12 pages. So you can really just comb through this in between stuff um, and just for some light reading, some slice of lice. And that is what I enjoy about this a lot. It's a really nice contrast to a lot of other stuff out there. Um, and so as far as this one, you know, I, I don't know that I was ena as enamored with this as I was with the prior volumes. Uh, it starts out with uh, uh, a little deal with Veronica. And then, of course, uh, and, and these are the 1940s by Bob Montana. Just beautiful stuff. The original stuff here as uh, Archie is uh, is um, forbidden to go on this like cruise they're all taking. Uh, and he shows up anyway because he wants to take Veronica on a date. And, uh, of course, hijinks ensue there. Uh, weird one where Archie gets some beavers. <laughs> the 40s really had some interesting stories that, like, you did not really get so much in others. I've read a couple of these before in different collections. Because these are some of these are, like, just very standard reprinted Archie ones that you get. There's a double date where Archie has to pretend to date both of them at the theaters. And so he runs back and forth uh, to the different seats and hopes they don't see him, and of course he sees him. Puppy love here, uh, which is, of course, Archie gets a puppy, and his parents don't like it because hijinks ensues. <laughs> and then we get into the 50s. And that's how these collections are formatted. You get the you get a, a smattering of stories from each decade, which what I don't like about this volume, I think uh, they really uh, spent a lot of time in the 90s, 2000s, and 2010s, so this is a 400-page-ish volume in the last... 225 250 pages are 90s through current so it's like we really didn't get that much of the old material um it was about 50 pages a decade in here and honestly it's like you really want to get the good better stuff by like dan DiCarlo and stephen schwartz uh you know as much as you possibly can and there's just not all that much frank doyle and harry lucy of course is another wonderful team here this is a cute story. Uh, very, very. Uh, they're playing with the comic format. The only words here are Archie and Veronica throughout the entire story. So that that works. You get little Archie. Little Archie is of course the the little kids version of this, um, which is uh, cute. Uh, a strange one where there there's like a deal with the devil going on, and the devil, uh, you know, of course, can't handle the girls at the end because the girls are, are worse than the devil. <laughs> very funny. A smattering of the newspaper strips in here, and uh, the newspaper strips obviously were one strip as they were reprinted, but they are formatted like this here, which, you know, in order to fit the pages, which works pretty well. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I, this was a this was fun. I would say that the first three volumes were perhaps a little more fun. You got a little bit more diverse of material in the first three volumes, too. Like, they, in the second especially, I think, in the uh, they really wanted to highlight the other properties that Archie has. So you got like the, the Martian stories in there. You get some, a couple of Sabrina stories. There is one Sabrina story in here. Um, but, and you get a couple other characters uh, like Katie Keene and, and things like that who, who don't show up in this volume. This one's a much more straight Archie volume. So maybe it's better for people to check out as a first Archie book. Um, but I kind of liked getting a, you know, if we're going to do a collage of random stuff, I, I liked getting uh, a, better collage of random stuff i guess we do have one here uh that wilkin boy 
uh, which I didn't uh, notice before. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a, it's a, it's another character. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. Lots of Jughead stories in here and Betty and Veronica stories too, I noticed. Uh, I think there's a, a, a growing amount of those compared to the other volumes, uh, which was pretty nice also. Uh, I do like Jughead, and I like the stories starring Jughead, so those uh, those held up pretty well. Uh, this is probably one of the most memorable ones, where Moose is 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 going downtown and is about to just destroy everybody because um, Midge broke up with him, and he you know he he loses it at that point. And of course, Reggie's trying to get with Midge during this, so very cute. And this this story really sets the tone for the Reggie Moose um, uh, Midge triangle that that uh, goes on in the future so um, that's how it goes and a little bit a little bit more Reggie here so Reggie goes on a date with Betty and and actually shows he's he's a human being at points and it gets kind of weird um, <laughs> so it's a nice little diversion there as we go through and get more uh, cute story with Jughead's dog eating all the food uh, Sabrina has the sneezes and and Everybody turns into clowns. Cute story also. I actually guess I don't mind the 90s stuff so much. And I don't even mind the 2000s stuff to, so much. Um, but uh, you get much longer um, stories once we get into this point. We, like we're, There's a few stories in here that there's actually one that's um, a full 22 pages, which is a free comic book day special. And that's pretty neat. Uh, it's This is this was neat to get. This is by Bob Bowling, who did Archie, Archie long, long time ago. And uh, this is a character where um, Mr. Weatherby is telling a, a camp story. And, uh, and it's got kind of coloring looking like it's from the past. Also, I don't know if it was unreleased or how it went, but neat stuff. And we get our last normal Archie story. And I say normal because like you, you see the, um, the actual panel layouts here versus uh, when it gets into, quote, modern comics, uh, it changes quite a bit. So they resisted going to modern comics for a long time. And we get a couple uh, stories here, which are which are nice. Um, but even then, we're getting the, the full bleed going on at this point. Which, you know, but this still has the feel of the old Archie comics. Uh, and then we get a strange one where, uh, you know, it, it's a futuristic thing where Archie actually is responsible for the destruction of a civilization with some Jetsons feel in here, uh, which was pretty funny. Um, but uh, definitely not your standard Archie tale to end it. And then we get into the reboot in 2018. Now this, uh, I liked Mark Wade and Fiona Staples' version of the reboot. And of course this had a very similar look to it. But for some reason I read this and I just thought this this didn't really have that charm that the Mark Wade stuff had. Uh, it didn't really have the humor. Um, and so it was a lot of references to, stu to all the characters uh, as, as they were starting this run. But it doesn't really make me want to continue on. So, good book all the way around. I'd kind of just skip the last bit because it just doesn't doesn't fit with the rest of the book. Um, but enjoyable all the way around. Um, I love these collections. If they do a book five, I will buy one. So, I call this like an eight out of ten. And I appreciate uh, having a little diversion to Archie. Hit that like and subscribe button, everybody. And we will be back soon.